can AI write your technical documentation? That's the question we asked ourselves when we tried to build this. And let's have a look at the results. I think they're really incredible, but uh, you should have a look for yourself. Now, if we go into Formbook, our EQMS software, which is um, the best software on the planet, in my opinion, we navigate to the tech doc section because we want to create technical documentation, right? So we have to create a product for that first. Okay, let's create a product here. Name for the product. Hmm, let's actually create a Dicom viewer because I don't know, everyone knows Dicom viewers. And then now we need to write a short intended use to actually be able to automatically generate things. How about medical software? Software for radiologists. Radiologists review Dicom images. All right, save it. And now I won't go into too much detail into how Formwork, uh, how, how it works and all the other cool features which it has. Suffice to say, it's really awesome and it's really intuitive and you can document everything in here. Now we go to software requirements and create a new requirement. And how do we typically create software requirements? Well, each software requirement should kind of des describe what the software does, kind of like a specification more or less. So we, you would maybe have one and say, well, it can display DICOM images. You would have another one which would say, hmm, I can zoom and pan in the image, that sort of stuff. So usually we would write these requirements manually and it would be very cumbersome because you like have to type all of these, right? So the question is, can we automatically generate these requirements instead? Let's just have a look. So, oh, wait, that's the magical auto-generate button. It has a magical wand next to it and it glows when we hover over it. Yes, we have to hit this button. All right, so now we have the auto-generate feature for software requirements. Let's just start auto-generating and see how the results look like and what's going to happen. All right, so exciting. Hmm. Oh, Formwork actually just wrote software requirements for us. All right, so the first one is the software shall be able to display Dicom images. Perfect, let's just save that. Oh, and you see Formwork already assigned a unique ID to this requirement and saved it. Great. Should be able to render 3D images from Dicom images. Well, that's typically many Dicom viewers can actually do that. So let's save that. The software shall be able to store them. Yeah, I guess so. View images in full size. Sounds good. Rotate and zoom. Oh yeah, we actually just, just talked about that feature, right? Measure distances and angles. Yeah, sounds good too. Compare Dicom images. Yeah, maybe that's a bit of an advanced feature. Track user activity, makes sense. Communication, blah, 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 export images. Oh yeah, let's, let's take the export images one too. All right, and there we have it. So we automatically just drafted our software requirements specification and all of these software requirements have already been saved and have a unique ID. So if you don't think this is incredible, I don't know. I don't know what it would be, but I think this is really, really cool, right? We drafted the software requirement specification and I don't know, three minutes instead of like days, weeks, or even months with consultants. I think that's really, really exciting. Now, how does this requirement specification look like, right? So now we have all these requirements saved up. Let's actually look at one of these um, requirements. Let's open, how about just the first one? Software shall be able to display Dicom images. All right, let's edit this and have a look. So what would we need to flesh this out a bit? Mm. The auto generation, it just wrote the title for us, but the description is still missing. Shouldn't, be, we, shouldn't we be writing a description? Ugh, that sounds super painful. I mean, it's just kind of like flashing out the title and a lot of it is kind of like redundant. Can we auto generate this? Oh yes, right, we can. We just hit the magical auto generate button. Oh, it glows when I go over it. Just hit it, it's generating. What's gonna happen next? Hmm. Oh, it wrote the description for me. <laughs> All right, the software shall be able to display Dicom images in a user-friendly manner, blah, 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 blah. I mean, to be fair, most software requirement descriptions are just like blah, blah anyway. And I think this is like, this is still above average based on all the technical documentations which I've seen. So yeah, I think this looks pretty good. Let's just save it. And there we have it. A software requirement is done. How long did that take us? Like another 30 seconds or so. I think this is really, really cool. Great. All right. So now we've written our software requirements. And of course, this is not completely done yet. But the next step now would be to write software tests. So how would we typically write software tests in Formwork or in general for medical device software? So go to software tests, new, 
then you have, you have to create a title for a test. And in our case, keeping this DICOM reading software requirement in mind, the test the title would be like, yeah, read the DICOM file, describe the test briefly, and then the steps would be like, I don't know, read a file, and the expected results would be, okay, well, the, the file is read correctly and it's displayed correctly. Yeah, this sounds like super painful. I mean, this is just like manual work for which you pay consultants like us a ton of money, which just doesn't really make a lot of sense in many cases, right? Can we auto-generate this too? Oh, wait, let's navigate back. Oh, yes, there's the magical auto-generate button. It also is, uh, it, it's also here for software tests, right? So let's just hit auto-generate. All right, now it asks me about the software requirement to generate them for. So yeah, we just talked about software requirement one, right? Let's just take that hit auto-generate and see what formwork comes up with uh, right now. So, so exciting. All right, uh, perfect. It filled out everything. Title is verifying DICOM image display. Description, testing the ability to display DICOM images. Sounds good to me. Oh, look, we even have the steps and the expected results. I think this is incredible, right? We have like step one, load the DICOM image. Expected result one, image is correctly rendered. Step two, verify it's correctly rendered. Two, it's accurate. Three, apply transformations. Three, transformations are accurate. Now, is this perfect? Obviously it's not. It kind of like, it kind of like bunched up a couple of things here, right? Like it just like added like a windowing test here. And uh, even though windowing really wasn't like part of just verifying the right display, but I mean, it is still like crazy, right? We automatically wrote and drafted a test in like, I don't know, five seconds. And now it's just up to us to like, just like change this draft a bit and fix it. Oh, and by the way, Formwork already correctly linked up this software test to the software requirement we specified earlier. So if you would want to export this now, you could just head over to audit export and export your software requirement specification as a spreadsheet and all of that would already be in there and linked correctly. So, there you have it. I think that's super exciting. Now we're able to draft technical documentation in what minutes instead of days, weeks, months. So this is really, really cool. And I really look forward to what people are going to build with this. That being said, it's a Formwork Pro feature. So Formwork has a free version and it has a paid version. Formwork Pro being one of the paid versions. If you're interested in trying this out, message me, I'll give you a free trial or just head over to our website and purchase Framework Pro. And um, maybe you're excited, just excited as I am to see what's possible with this auto-generation feature.